Well, hello there, Clay Nelson again. Uh, this is confirmation video number eight. And today we're gonna be talking about the Office of the Keys. Uh, no, not these keys. This is a little bit more important than my keys, even though we'll, we'll go back to those here in a little bit. Um, the Office of the Keys is a special authority which Christ gave his church on earth to forgive the sins of the people who repent. So this comes from John 20, 22 through 23. And the Lord breathed on his disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone of his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. You know, I hear those words and I think, man, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of stuff to be put on us. But here's the thing. We're here. We're here on earth and we're with everyone. And God wants us to do his work. And there's a lot of power in that statement of that we, you know, once they confess of their sins... And that's a lot of stuff. Um, we get this in the service. You guys hear it a lot. And, um, you know, it comes from uh, John, 1 John 8, uh, 1 John 1, 8 through 10, which it says, If you claim you are without sin, you deceive yourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us with all, um, all righteousness. If we claim we are without sin, we make him out to be a liar and his word has no place in our lives. So that comes out in the church service when the pastor will say, okay, we got to confess our sins. And so we all do that and we make our, you know, we confess our sins, which we've talked about already. But at the end of this, he'll make a statement that sounds something like this. Upon your confession, I, a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God to all of you. And in the stead of his Instead, and by his command of the Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You know, the first time I ever heard that, I thought, who's he, man? Wow, that's a lot of power for a pastor to think he has. But the thing is, is it's not only just given to the pastors, but it's given to us as well. And I think that's a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, in the small catechism, it goes into a lot more details about what is in the Office of the Keys. And uh, in class, we're going to go through a lot more of that as well. If you have questions, please, please come to us and talk to us. But um, getting back to the analogy of this key thing... Having this key gives me a lot of power through the car, but I've got to use it carefully. Same thing with the house key and all the other keys I've got. Kind of to wrap this thing up, just remember that for everything, that God gives you a ton of power. He gives you a lot of authority and we've got to use it carefully. But most of all, we really have to use it because there are people that are out there that are living in sin and they want to confess those sins and we've got to give them Christ's forgiveness when they do. That's what we wanted to do and should be doing 
Because he loved us, we need to love others. This office of the key thing is an amazing thing. All right. Thanks for the listen. Have a great day.